The Bailings cambering machine is one of the biggest time savers in the steel industry. It is used to cold camber beams as an alternative to the traditional hot cambering method, which involved a lot of trial and error and can sometimes take days to perfect. With the Bailings cambering machine, we can take a day-long process and perform the same task in minutes by using hydraulic force instead of heat to induce a permanent camber in that beam. The cambering machine is equipped with standard features such as clamp cylinders, main cambering cylinders, the operator's panel, and a power unit. Optional features are hydraulic flange hold downs, electronic measuring system, 36 inch stroke clamp and cambering cylinders, and a hydraulic lift and kneel kit. The clamp cylinders hold the beam in position against the end stops. The main cylinders push against the center of the beam in tandem to induce the deflection. The optional hydraulic flange hold downs secure the beam vertically while the beam is under pressure. The operator's panel is where the process is controlled from and where feedback is received from the electronic measuring device. If your machine does not come with 36 inch stroke clamp and camber cylinders, it will come equipped with spacer tubes, which are used to shim the end stops towards the operator based on the beam's web dimensions. The first step is to confirm the calibration of the datum line. If your machine doesn't have the 36 inch stroke cylinders, then insert your smallest spacer tube. Set a string line across your two end stops. This is your datum line. Place a target at the line for your CMS01 measuring system to read. Now simply go to your calibration menu on the operator's display screen and press calibrate to set this datum line for future calibrations. To set up your beam to be cambered, simply select the beam size. At this point, the display will tell you what spacer tubes to use if it is necessary. Now you will have a live digital reading of the deflection down to 1 of an inch. If your beam is under 26 feet in length, the entire camber process can typically be done in one hit. If your beam is over 26 feet in length, three or more hits may be required. To start, select the beam size on the display screen. Insert the correct spacer tube if required. Mark the center of the beam and place the center in between the two cambering cylinders. Engage the clamping cylinders to secure the beam's horizontal position. Engage the flange hold downs to secure the beam's vertical position. The process is now ready to begin cambering. Engage the main cambering cylinders. Keep an eye on the display screen for the live readout of camber distance. The beam will retract a small percentage of the camber when the pressure is released. Just repeat the process until the desired camber is met. Because the measuring system only measures deflection between the end stops, this is not an accurate representation of the beam's camber as a whole. That is why we must string a line on the top flange of both ends of the beam. If your cambering machine is equipped with a lift and kneel kit, this allows your machine to be installed in your production line to easily have your beams rolled in and out after the camber process. Over the past 20 years, Bailings has led the way in the transition from hot cambering to cold cambering, and our machines have been used by many of the top steel fabricators in North America. To learn more, visit our website or reach out to our sales team to find a cambering machine that's right for your business.